Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm continuing to pick up on some energy about whatever you got going on. Place the energy where it resonates with whomever it is, friend, family member, your ex, the karmic attached to your ex, the boss, the coworker trying to be your boss, whoever it is. I do pick up on an energy of friend or a family member very heavy, but again, place the energy where it resonates. Um, you know, I was saying on my past readings, you may have found out that a friend or a family member was not being such a good friend or a family member. You know, somebody might be finding this out, you know, some of the things that they hid behind the scenes, right? Um, and it's all kind of coming to you. Somebody came to you with some, some ridiculousness, all in the negative energy. Somebody's upset. Somebody's having some issues. They're having problems and they kind of just unload it on you, right? So I'm still continuing to pick up on some energy about how you're maneuvering through this. And in my last reading, we, we did come out where this situation is going to come out with a good ending for you, a positive ending, but you are getting guidance on how to maneuver through this. So let's get it. The first energy that's coming out now is the seven of wands and the upright. So this is somebody feeling like they need to stand up for themselves. Somebody feeling like they need to, you know, defend themselves against something. This is kind of like, I, I have to defend something, whatever it is, defend myself against something, whoever this person is. Um, this also may be, you know, somebody who's also taking the nine of wands uh, energy, somebody who feels like the wounded warrior. They're going through something, right? Somebody hits you with some news out of the blue and you're just like, oh, okay, now I got to deal with all this crap. You know what I'm saying? So this nine of wands is like trying to overcome obstacles, trying to like, you know, push through, you know, that can do attitude of, you know, perseverance, right? But, you know, it's kind of like they still need to have their defenses up. These are two cards about defending themselves. But check it, y'all. What's coming through is, two energy is about defending themselves against this judgment in the inverse this is where it gets interesting right and i have some downloads to, to get into so i'll get into those in a second but it um before i get into those it's coming out right next to you magician you also came out on my last reading you came out as a high priestess you also came out as a magician as well yesterday something is going on about somebody carrying the judgment and the inverse energy about you right I don't feel like you're being judged fairly at this time and you're going to resonate with this if you know if this applies in your personal situation the judgment in the inverse talks about negative judgment um talks about you know being uh, you know not self-aware also you know what i'm saying this is also like a negative self-critique this is also like either being down on yourself or being down on somebody else however it applies in your situation um but definitely very heavy judgment is what i'm getting I feel like somebody is having to defend themselves against your judgment. Whatever you did, and this also came out in my last reading yesterday too, you came out as a magician, someone who uses all their power, all their skills, all their intuition, their, their resources, their logic, pulling all that to bear. It's kind of like you're being like Superman or Superwoman coming to the rescue when somebody calls you with some ridiculousness, right? So it's like, you're like Johnny on the spot, ready to help but people are defending themselves against you. This is what I'm picking up y'all. You know, and this also does take on the energy of being self-absorbed, but I don't get that from you. I feel like other people are carrying that energy. And this is what I was talking about yesterday. When people throw their negative energy onto you, you know, having to figure out that that's not your energy and not take on other people's energy. This is what I'm feeling yet again, collective. I feel like it's either one or more people defending themselves against you, but it's how you show up. This is like you showing up in your, uh, your, your uh, position of power. And I said this on yesterday because we had the, um, page of wands and the inverse come out. And I told you, it's like somebody like put all this on you, but they don't fully trust you. It's something about, they don't really trust you, even though they're doing all this to you, with you, around you, whatever it is, but it's because of your power. It's kind of like it intimidates them, right? You, magician energy is very intimidating for a lot of people. Um, you know, if you're pulling out something intuitively, let, let's just say that collective, you're pulling out something intuitively using your magician energy as above, so below, right? Do you pull that from above? So below you're pulling out a download. Hey, this is what I got a, a vision on. This is what I got a, a, a premonition on. Whoever is not tapped in won't resonate, right? So this may apply in that situation where you had to pull something from the ethers and now somebody's judging them, uh, judging you harshly about whatever you pulled down. Come on, collective. Y'all know what time it is. Um, and segue on that. I was just rewatching um, the, the Matrix trilogy the other day. 
Um, and I love the matrix. So who doesn't love the matrix? Right. But you know, I forgot which one was it two or three, one of them anyway, where the Oracle says, you know, people can't see beyond the choices, uh, that they don't understand. So this might be a situation to where somebody can't see beyond something that they don't understand, which is why all this defense is here and why you're being judged harshly because of your magician energy. They don't understand what you understand magician. And it's un unfortunate because it's kind of like, I don't get that you're trying to do anybody harm. Somebody brought some mess to you and you're just trying to do your best to help out in however way that you can, pulling out your magician energy. And if that meant going in the ethers to pull out the answer, that's what you were gonna do because you're using all of your powers and all of your skill to help out, but it's like, you're getting judged for it. Y'all, this has been happening since magicians been around. Uh, come on, if you know, you know, okay? You know what I'm saying? It kind of feels like a witch hunt at the same time. But it, you know, it, the thing about it is, is like, I don't think it's fair to you. And I feel like you might be feeling that, but it's not your energy. So again, this is all a lesson in not taking on other people's energy. And here, here's one of them right here. The Queen of Cups in the inverse. This is somebody who's unrealistic. This is Cups in the emotion, unrealistic in their emotions, right? This is also somebody who's overreactional. They kind of spaz out right? This is also somebody who is just like really not in touch with their emotions. So if they're not in touch with their own emotions, how do you think they're going to be in touch with your power magician? Come on now. I know y'all see this energy, you know, and it, so you got this person here who's over emotional, over reactional, you know, unrealistic in their emotions and out of touch right next to the King of Pentacles in the inverse. This may be the same person embodying these two energies. It may be two different people take the energy as it resonates, but the King of Pentacles is somebody King of Pen Pentacles in the inverse is somebody who's materialistic, dominant. I do feel dominant, like somebody who needs to have control over something, even though they're like world is crumbling right now, right? This is somebody who wants to be defensive against you, somebody else who wants to be defensive. This King of Pentacles in the inverse is also somebody who's dishonest, right? I feel th there's a heavy distrust in this energy. They don't trust you for some reason, which is weird because this Queen of Pentacles uh, in the upright, this is you. Like, how can somebody not trust you? You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's judging you very harshly, Queen of Pentacles. This is you being very responsible, practical, grounded, caring. So I don't think you mean anybody any harm, but you're the one that's getting the judgment. Come on now, collective. But it's like, I feel like, I really feel like you feel some type of way. And like, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to do the best that I can. Why are you treating me like this? Like, I've, I feel that this energy is coming from you where you are, you just pulled all your resources out. And you know, if this was this friend or family member, you're just trying to help out. But now you get the short end of the stake because you try to help out being the queen of Pentacles. And I feel like you're kind of feeling some type of way about it because again, it's like their negative energy is kind of being like pushed onto you. You see what I'm saying? This came out yesterday, right? So you switch into this eight of cups in the upright yet again. You're moving on. You're abandoning this person, place, or thing. Um, I feel like some of you might be abandoning using your magician energy and only take this piece of it resonates because I'm getting a very specific download. Um, uh, I've got a couple downloads about this. Somebody, if this was a spiritual thing, right? If you went into the ethers to try to address the situation and how to handle whatever the situation was, however it came about, somebody might be moving on from revealing spiritual things to people who are not on that level yet and it's not a, a, a diss or anything or you know to to say that they're lesser than not not that at all but some people are not ready and this is where i go back to that reference from the matrix movie some people cannot see beyond the choices that they don't understand so maybe if you did go into the ethers and pull down pull down something from above you know to, uh, to the below right maybe that person wasn't ready right and that's where your discernment is going to kick in to be like all right some people are not ready for this level of power. Some people are not ready for this level of intuition. Some people are not in touch with their emotions to pick up what I'm putting down. Come on, y'all. I know y'all see this. This is a lesson that everybody in the spiritual community has to learn. Trust me. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. It, it's not fun. It's not cool. It kind of looks like this. You know what I'm saying? So even if this is not like a spiritual thing, right? Maybe this is like a job situation, right? You, you were just like coming out with all your forces, all your resources, all your logic, also magician energy. It does not have to be spiritual, okay? So you, you just kind of come out 
with all your abilities and like people are just like nah mm -mm, that's not them i'm defending myself against them they they're they don't know what's going on they don't know how to do this job mm -hmm. still trying to have control over something and still trying to defend themselves with their harsh judgment this can this can apply in all types of situation it's when you bring your whole full power to bear and people are not ready for it right so maybe you feel some type of way. This eight of this eight of cups. You're gonna move on. You're gonna abandon the situation. I'm like, look, I'm not putting in 100% on this job, or you ain't gonna give me 100% of your care, your consideration. You wanna judge me harshly? Come on now, collector. This can apply in any situation. So somebody might be like, all right, cool. You feel like that? All right, peace. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with people who have the fool and the inverse energy with you, being childish, naive, heavy naive. It's like I don't think that whoever this person was realizes that you're doing your best you're trying to help you're trying to be there for them trying to be there for yourself and it's like you're you're getting perceived to be the opposite of what you're doing because your energy you can't tell me that you mean anybody harm or you mean any detriment coming out as the queen of pentacles you can't tell me that so it's like you're you're not getting your fair due in this situation is what i feel somebody's very naive about you being very child uh child childish right uh, rather reckless um you know very naive is what i'm getting somebody is they're not in touch with their emotions so they can't be in touch with this level of power and skill that you have it's a disconnect right so maybe that's why you feel like you need to pull back right also dealing with the nine of pentacles and the inverse energy somebody who's lonely somebody who's having financial issues and this is this came out yesterday as well somebody who's the king of pentacles and the inverse this might be somebody who's having money problems they're also codependent on your energy when they have problems they got to dump all that crap on you when they have problems Maybe you're that person. You're the go-to person because they know you're the queen of pentacles. Um, Y'all, and this happens in any situation, personal, professional, just random people off the street. You know, your light attracts light and darkness. So when people are having problems, guess who they're coming to? But a lot of times when you try to help, some people don't appreciate it, right? So maybe this is a lesson that somebody's got to learn that maybe you can't help everybody. Um, I did get a, a download in this particular situation, going back to this Eight of Cups energy. My download said that whoever this person and or people are, because this may be one person, it may be more than one, take the energy as it resonates. Somebody's going through their own karmic cycle, y'all. Their own karmic cycle, and you're not meant to interfere in them handling their own karmic cycle. This is going to hit for somebody if this resonates with you. I got a very specific download about that. Um, my download also said you're meant to be a guide in this situation, which is why you do show up. You are meant to be a guide. You're not meant to fix this person's problems. You're meant to be a guide, nothing more. So I feel like maybe somebody is kind of coming in, jump Johnny on the spot with the magician energy and be like, I got you, fam. I got all of the problems fixed for you. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're meant to guide them, not fix all their problems. Um, I And the, whoever this person is, and this is going back to the energy that came out yesterday in my read. We had the wheel of fortune come out that does talk about the energy of cycles closing out cycles right um you know somebody's dealing with their own karmic cycle it's not you it's somebody else's karmic cycle that you know they're trying to defend themselves uh with you trying to kind of help out and be responsible and practical in this situation here you're the one getting your judgment you know this also might be you know them because they're in their own karmic cycle you're also going to be closing out your cycle about how to handle this situation maybe this has not come about before maybe it has maybe it hasn't but maybe you're always that johnny on the spot person maybe you're always the fixer maybe it's time to not being the fixer all the time because some people may not appreciate it come on collective somebody out here is feeling some type of way because the strength in the inverse is coming out right under your energy this is what i was talking about yesterday not taking on other people's negative energy all these people are all negative in their energy and they're still defending themselves against you the one person that's trying to help you know what i'm saying you know the strength in the inverse is also being weak and being vulnerable maybe you do feel weak and, and maybe you do feel vulnerable when you just try to help out and try to do your best in this situation this also talks about being led by your urges and being um not disciplined and, and your urges maybe like i said that being that johnny on the spot person is not what you need to do in this situation and this is why i got a very specific download to tell somebody that somebody is meant to be a guide you're not it's meant to help fix everybody else's problems right you know, and as a result, because you always are that fixer, you might carry the hermit in the inverse energy yourself. Um, being depressed, you know, being very isolated, rejected, you might feel that way because you're just trying to help out and somebody who's not ready to see beyond the choices that they don't understand. Come on now, Matrix fans out there, y'all hear me. But then this is a, all a lesson, right? You know, this is a lesson about not carrying this depth in the inverse energy. 
you know, so, you know, not wanting something to end, not being ready to transform, not, you know, resisting the new. This is you going through this process of learning this lesson. Whoever this resonates for, it's not going to resonate for everybody, but you're going to understand if this does resonate in your situation. You're getting taught something here. You know, when it comes to letting people handle their own problems, maybe you do have the ability to fix everything. Maybe you do. But is it appropriate to at all times, especially when people are bucking against you, right? Not resisting or, or resisting the new, resisting the ability to transform, right? So somebody is actually having to work through this. Um, but at this moment, they're going to the eight of wands energy. This is quick travel movement speed. Somebody is carrying the four of cups in the inverse. This is definitely being depressed and self-absorbed right and you know this is you know going back to that uh judgment in the inverse that also does carry the energy of being self-absorbed maybe you're feeling some type of way maybe you're just like why why me why me you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to help i'm just trying to do my best i'm just trying to do what i do right this four of cups energy is what somebody is carrying regarding this four of uh, five of wands energy um some type of conflict rivalry competition or struggle um this is our last clarifier but i wanted to get this message out to kind of you know to connect to whoever it is that's still going through this right now I want to kind of see how you're going to make it through this because this is a test. This is a lesson for somebody um, in regards to how to handle these situations. You might have the best intentions for somebody, but the battle is not always yours, collective. It just isn't. Sometimes, sometimes it's a lesson for you. Sometimes it's meant for, you know, somebody else to handle their own problems, right? The download that I got, it said, if this, you were meant to be a guide, you're not meant to fix this person's karmic cycle. That's for them. So if somebody's going through something, they were just kind of unloading on you and dumping on you and trying to make you stressed out. Now you're the one that's feeling like you need to fix their problem. Somebody needs to hear today that that's not what you were meant to do. You're meant to guide them, but not fix their problems. Okay. Not taking on other people's energy. Just like I said on my last reading, I am going to come back to get some more on this because I want to see how you kind of make it through. But as of right now, let's go ahead and get an uh, archaeo card to see what personality types we're dealing with here. A fatalist. All right, let's hear about a fatalist. The fatalist brings the gift of acceptance when you are thrown into despair by the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune and cannot find the irony and humor amidst the chaos. When you are in danger of losing your balance and fear you're about to fall, the fatalist will teach you how to best ride the wheel of fortune with dignity. Yep. She trusts her sense of balance and maintains her dignity. Stepping straight and true, the fatalist accepts the path beneath her feet. She understands that time's grindstone turns without mercy, bringing instability on the back of unpredictability, and it doesn't phase her. Wow. All things outside our comprehension are a threat. And if we are unable to accept the constancy of change, we will grow dizzy and fall. If we try to cling to our possessions and our self-image, kismet will make a mockery of us. But if we ignore small-minded men and focus on making the right choices, then our emotional ups and downs will not dismiss us. Boy... Like the Arbiter, the Fatalist wears a blindfold and focuses her concentration and makes sure she isn't lured into distraction. Man, this is all the energy that I just said, especially with the Wheel of Fortune energy that came out in my last reading yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the Arbiter, so we did have that energy come out. So this is you finding focus. And literally it talks about, you know, finding focus, finding your attention. Does your attention need to be focused on somebody else's problems? Or does your attention need to be focused on your spiritual journey. Oh, this hits on so many levels for somebody, y'all. Oh, if it resonates, it resonates. All right, let's get a Divine Nature Oracle and we'll wrap up. Card two, radiate self-compassion. That's what somebody is going to need to do. Quan Ying was the mother of compassion, but many of us forget to include ourselves in her radiant example of loving kindness. Human beings are hardwired for both love and struggle. And one of the best ways to practice resilience between the two is through self-compassion. This moment is asking you to focus on yourself with all patience, support, and love that you keep giving everybody else. <laughs> wow. Put your arms around your inner self with all the gentleness you can muster and consider this. You're the only one in the entire universe right now. You deserve to experience love from the inside out, independent of what the world offers or takes away. Nothing can change your inherent value. It's golden and treasure it with your kind thoughts. Yep. Everything of what I just said. This is a lesson for somebody to help, you know, help them get through this situation. I will come back and get some more energy to help you kind of go through this situation. But as of right now, focus your intention on what you need to do, collective, and radiate self-compassion. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.